Today, ladies and gentlemen, I ask the question, what happens if you battle and level up a egg in Pokemon Emerald? So welcome back to a brand new video guys, my name is Ruffle Rowlet, as per usual, and today we're going to be doing something quite interesting in Pokemon Emerald. Now the original plan for this was going to be doing it in Heart Gold Soul Silver, but it turns out that this wouldn't work there, and what we're doing is basically a glitch, it's known as the Pomeg glitch, which is basically using a Pomeg berry to cause a lot of havoc within your Pokemon games. Now this is the most usable in the Generation 3 games, that's prevalent there, you can do almost anything with these, but I thought we'd do one particular glitch today and we'll do another one in the next video so for today's with this glitch I thought we try out a glitch that makes it so that your egg if you do have an egg actually is usable in battle which means that you'll be able to basically use an egg in battle to cause havoc now during my recording there was a few issues that came in there was a lot of stuff that was very troublesome and there's a lot of things that need to be kept in mind when doing this glitch and there's a lot of risks coming with it so I would not recommend this if you're doing this on a game or save that you are really caring for. I would only recommend doing this on a save that you're just messing around with if you just want to have some fun. But if you want to try it on your main saves, that's up to you. Either way, let's get into the breakdown. Now for this glitch, we have a few criteria that we have to meet, or rather requirements we have to meet, so let's make sure we have those. So the most important thing is, we gotta have a Pokemon that is about over the level 50 and has high EVs in its HP, or HP EVs, it needs to have high those, and of course, it needs to be over level 50, which is really important, and on top of that also, you need to make sure that you have Pomeg Berries, which you gotta get, so go get yourself some of those, get yourself a Pokemon high level, and of course, also make sure to have an egg. Now, as for the egg itself, you have really a lot of options to get one, you can either just, well, you can go to Lava Ridge Town and get yourself one there, which you can get for free, or you can also just try to breed one at a daycare in Mobile City, which should also be quite easier, and that way at least you'll know what you're getting if you make sure to use a Ditto and whatever other Pokemon you're trying to go for. So, that's definitely the most recommended way if you want to get a Pokemon specifically, and if you want to do some messing around. Now, you need to know about a few things when doing this. So, one thing is that when I tried out doing the glitch, there was a different result than I've seen from other people, and I'll feature some gameplay from a channel that actually got the glitch to work in a different manner to kind of show you off the differences between how it worked out. So, it really depends on how things go for you, you, but the general glitch though will work for everybody if you just follow along the way I do it in this video. So, like I said, make sure to have a Pokemon at level 50 above, and also make sure to have that egg. So now, the next thing you gotta make sure to do as well is to get that Pokemon that is over level 50 down to only 1 HP. This is important because if it isn't at 1 HP, you won't actually be able to perform this glitch, so make sure to do that. Now, let's get into the actual action. So one of the recommended ways to get your HP done, which I would recommend, is to go to Mobile City and go to this grass around this area and then simply just find an Oddish, which will be able to Poison Powder you, and then you just gotta make sure that Poison gets you down to only 1 HP, which is why I'd, what I ended up doing here with Charizard. Now, I'll be showing two different ways of me doing this. The first part, of course, is me doing this through Poison and getting my HP down to only 1 HP, but of course, there's another way, and the other way, of course, is by simply going and battling a bunch of Pokemon and getting your HP down, which we'll show how to do with Arbok later on. So let's start, though, with Charizard first. Alright, so here we go ladies and gentlemen, the first thing of course we gotta do is get down to that 1 HP with Charizard here, but we're gonna also try this with Arbok later on, so don't you worry, we're gonna have two different Pokemon to try this with, but of course, first things first, make sure Charizard is down to 1 HP, which right now it is, and also of course make sure to switch the position of Charizard and of course the egg so that you have them, you know, uh, of course so you have the egg first in your party, which I mentioned at the start of the video here, because that's very important, you're gonna have to do that, otherwise you may run into some trouble, so make sure to switch those around, head to the egg up front and of course make sure to get the pomeg berry running now of course another thing you should probably do is to use something like some sort of antidote maybe or maybe even a berry to remove that poison and of course the pomeg berry is spicy sweet and bitter interesting berry indeed so yeah make sure to use it though get rid of that um one hp right down there and then of course you can go of course also remove the poison which is very important i would definitely recommend doing that uh, now i tried here using an orange berry which 
didn't really work out. Now, with a different individual that tried this glitch, it actually did kind of work when he tried a potion, which was slightly different, though he did end up, uh, you know, I did notice he ended up reviving his Pokemon and then using the potion, so that kind of ruins the whole glitch. But yeah, I was trying to mess around and see if like I could heal it when it was at, you know, fainted, if the glitch would like mess around something or something would happen, but no, it didn't. So yeah, nothing too strange there. But at this point, we've already done the glitch, so now all we got to do is simply just go out and get ourselves into a battle, and that's really all we got to do and this should all work out. So now that we have our glitch working, which it should do, we should just simply head down into the grass and find a Pokemon to battle with our glitched egg. And as those you will notice, you will see that instead of a Pokemon coming out, it will be the egg. But it will be a Pokemon in general though. So there you go, go egg! And as you see, we have a Pichu within the egg, and that's what I actually had to put there. And of course made sure to put it at level 20 when it's being used, and that's for the purpose of basically us not losing this battle. So if you are confused as to why the level is level 20, I made sure to change this level by, you know, hacking it around a little bit, uh, but if you do this with a normal egg, it should work the exact same way. It doesn't matter what it is, what level the egg is, and whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter as long as the Pokemon within the egg is just a normal Pokemon and there's nothing wrong with it. This should all be totally fine. Like, there should be zero, zero, zero issues for anyone. So yeah, that's all you gotta do, and as you notice right here, you'll see that there is actually a little bit of a glitch that happens with the Pokemon itself, that it gets kind of a different sprite color to it. So this is a Pichu, just a normal Pichu but its coloring has been totally changed around due to the fact that we do uh, you know we essentially did this glitch it actually made its pigment kind of change uh, which is due to you know it assuming it's an egg and not really placing out the right Pokemon so this one ends up happening this happens with every single Pokemon so if you want to see some really unique and different colors for Pokemon like in your eggs you can definitely do this I'll you know show you later on uh, what a different youtuber tried out and a different content creator tried out which was to get a Cyndaquil to do this egg method and this egg glitch and that actually caused him to get a really cool looking colored uh, Cyndaquil. So we'll so show it in a second to see how that kind of looks like. But as you see right here, uh, all we got to do is just defeat him. Now, I tried to see if this actually is possible to do. And what I'm talking about is to actually heal the Pokemon that is fainted, uh, aka our Charizard. Now, you can't really do that, actually. What, what you got to do is revive your Charizard during this battle, which I didn't have any revives, but you should revive it maybe, and that way you won't be a whited out. The game won't white out and stop. The game will just continue going on as normal, and this way, like, you know, through not getting whited out, that's the way you can basically level up the Pokemon, you know, consistently and actually get it brand new moves, right? You can do this as a method to get brand new moves to the egg Pokemon. So yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that. Not really much else you can do. Now, I would recommend to, of course, revive your Pokemon that you have in your team here, which I didn't do with Charizard, but that's something you definitely should do, which will make sure that you don't white out like we do right here. Because as soon as we get the, you know, defeat this Meryl, you'll notice that we're out of Pokemon, usable Pokemon, and we can't do anything more. We white out and we get healed up, and that's it. So a recommended thing to do is have a bunch of revives, and of course, have a few potions and stuff to make sure that your Pokemon that you do do this kind of glitch with doesn't end up fully, you know, being fainted after that first battle with the egg, because that will cause you to go back from the scratch. So this is a process you can do that is highly, like, you know, fun to do, I'm gonna be honest, because you get to see some uniquely weird glitched sprites, and also, if you want to get an egg Pokemon that you have, or a, you know, Pokemon within the egg, to be evolved when it comes out of the egg, or maybe have different moves uh, when it comes out of the egg, you can basically gain a brand new move by doing this. So it's a definitely pretty cool method, but now let's see how this looks like with Arbok, though. So next up, we have footage now with Arbok, and and of course, the difference here is really not that major. The only difference, though, is that with Arbok, I made sure to, instead of poisoning it and, you know, doing the whole antidote thing and getting its HP down through poison, I just flew over to the Victory Road and fought a few Pokemon and then went down to a kind of like the Route 2 or something and let a few Puchinas hit me, of course, all the way down to simply HP 1. Now, of course, we want to make sure, of course, to switch the positions and have the egg up front. That's always important. Got to remember that. Just keep that in mind. And once we've done that, we just got to go and find that Pomek Berry, uh, shove it right onto the Arbok itself. And once we've done that, we should notice the glitch should work and we will be in a position that will be pretty, well, usable. Now, I tried to use a HP up here to see if that would make any difference or do something weird, but it didn't. Of course, don't bother doing that. There's nothing that's going to happen. I was just messing around trying a few things out. We go into a battle with quick and you'll see the same thing is gonna happen once again we're gonna run into a Puchina but this time around we're gonna have 
you know, well, it's the same Pokemon, essentially. We're gonna have uh, the egg again, but this time around, we use an Arbok to kind of start the glitch. So as long as the Pokemon is over level 50, and you can do the glitch like that, you should be fine. And I would recommend, again, make sure to have revives and that sort of stuff, because that'd be highly recommended. And to show you what I mean by having, you know, that sort of stuff, here is a video that was recorded a long time ago by a YouTuber named Void. I'll make sure to link his video down below if you guys want to check it out, because he talks about several versions of the Pomek glitch that you can use. And you can see right here, he actually uses the egg glitch as well, but the difference, though, is that he actually has a Cyndaquil egg, and it's level 5, so it's like a normal egg, there's nothing wrong with it, and he's taking on a Tauros, it's level 4, which is shiny because his game's a little bit, you know, he's been, like, using a bunch of, like, uh, Game Shark cheats and stuff like that in his game, which makes it so that his game's quite different. So, you'll notice here, he takes down this, um... Tauros in a few tackles, but before he takes it out though, he does make sure to do a different thing, which is to actually revive his main Pokemon, which you see he does right here, and the reason for that is to make sure that the glitch doesn't like kind of stop, and he gets whited out the same way I got whited out, so I would recommend definitely getting a revive when you're doing this, and you know, potioning up or something like that, well a revive should be fine, you don't even need a potion, and as you see right here, you just kind of get, gotta get rid of that Tauros, and there you go, that's a general glitch, so yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the video, though. If you guys did enjoy, then drop a like down below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please let me know in the comment section down below. This is the second video ever I've tried in this style, so I'd love to do a few more of these and hopefully improve over time. But if you guys did enjoy, drop a like down below. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Rolf Rallet. Have yourselves a great day. And uh, yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe for future videos, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.